Hello and welcome to Need Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, Earth Day 2013 is coming up. Bassern Military Housing is changing its name. And General Colin Powell is scheduled to visit Fort Meade in May. These stories and more. But first, April is National Sexual Assault and Prevention Awareness Month. Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel urges DOD personnel and the entire DOD community to invoke its values of service, sacrifice, loyalty, and integrity to end sexual violence. This April, the Department of Defense observes Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month with the theme, We Own It, We'll Solve It Together. Each of us must help the department eliminate the scourge of sexual assault from the military. Service members, civilians, and leaders at every level must work every day to instill a climate that does not tolerate or ignore sexist behavior, sexual harassment, or sexual assault. We are strong because of our values of doing what is right, service, sacrifice, and loyalty. We watch out for each other. This includes stopping sexual assault within our ranks, this month and every month. Thank you. In a related story, April is also Child Abuse Prevention Month. Army Community Services Family Advocacy Program held a kickoff event this week at Burba Lake. Garrison Commander Colonel Ed Rothstein signed the proclamation. My commitment to work towards eradication of the evils of child abuse, whether it is emotional or mental or physical, uh, neglect, we can't afford it. I absolutely don't believe we're going to eradicate it. It's there. What we can do is mitigate it. What we can do is challenge ourselves to making good decisions and being well in uh, those good decisions. That's what this is really all about. And that's what I challenge all of you to do, is to share the message that William's going to be sharing with you in just a little bit and talk to those on your right and left, your peers and your superiors and your subordinates, your families and your community because it is a community message that we've got to continue to share. And that is that we should not tolerate the injustices that we, we have to our children through neglect or abuse in many different ways. The ceremony also featured guest speaker William Kellebrew from Anne Arundel County Social Services. ACS sponsored events this month include a romp and stomp fun fair on April 16th at the Youth Center. A guest speaker from the Kennedy Krieger Institute in Baltimore will be here on the 25th at Potomac Place. Additionally, you can look for information tables set up throughout the month at ACS and at the Child Development Centers. For more information on Child Abuse Awareness Month, or if you think you may need help, contact Family Advocacy at 301-677-5590. In other news, about a month from now, former Joint Chiefs of Staff and Secretary of State Colin Powell will be visiting the Fort Meade Main Exchange to sign his latest book, It Worked For Me in Life and Leadership. The signing takes place May 4th from 11 to 1 at the Main Exchange. In other news, Earth Day 2013 is coming up. Fort Meade's Earth Day observance is being celebrated on April 18th. This year's event looks bigger and better than ever. Displays include the Oyster Recovery Partnership, Going Green at Home, Urban Flower Gardening, and much, much more. Children from Manor View Elementary, Meade Middle School, and Monarch Academy will have their Earth Day projects on display. Music is scheduled to be provided by WPOC 93.1 FM. All of Fort Meade's Earth Day events are free and open to the public. Once again, Fort Meade's Earth Day observance is Thursday, April 18th from 10 to 2 at Burba Park. Elsewhere, Pacer Military Housing is changing its name. The Corvius Group announced this week that its Military Housing Division will now be called Corvius Military Living, continuing a rebranding that began in July 2012 when the company introduced its Student Housing Division, Corvius Campus Living. Pacer, now Corvius Military Living, recently broke ground on Reese Crossings, a first-of-its-kind military living community designed for unaccompanied enlisted service members. <laughs> and finally this week, Murphy Fieldhouse is hosting the Fort Meade Inter-Service March Madness Intramural Basketball Championship on April 10th and 11th. In the first round, it'll be Navy versus Air Force at 11 o'clock and Army versus the Marines on Court 2, also at 11. It's a double elimination tournament with the winners and losers bracket champions meeting for the ultimate championship on Thursday at noon. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.